no matter which way you look at it, primary doses always outperform booster doses for people who are at risk. Um, the, the primary attention here has to be um, on assuring that everybody who um, has not yet had uh, a primary series of vaccination um, has access to that vaccine and gets vaccinated. We're in a two-track pandemic, largely, um, with those who are getting disease or those who are unvaccinated um, for, for any dose. So that has to be the, the absolute primary attention that the world is focused on, including um, countries that have high access to vaccines to assure that that supply is getting to those places in the world that have um, still not had uh, adequate supply um, over these many months. As we enter the third year of the pandemic, conversations around booster doses have gained momentum, as the UK reports its first Omicron death. A booster shot is an additional dose of a vaccine that is given after the protection by the initial shots begins to decrease over time. But immunity waning does not necessarily mean that a person will be infected severely again. Even though antibodies and T-cells decrease over time, the body's memory response will instruct the immune system to generate more antibodies in case of a reinfection. While vaccines protect the body against disease, they do not necessarily fight symptomatic reinfection. Countries with high rates of vaccination continue to see a rise in infections, even though severe disease has reduced considerably. This is why it becomes more important to get two doses of vaccination on priority. Only 37% of Indians are fully vaccinated. So, chasing booster doses might mean depriving a major section of the population from their second or even first dose of the vaccine. Giving booster doses also depends on each country's health policy. The UK, for example, has given 20 million booster doses when the entire population is only 67 million. In comparison, Africa has fully vaccinated only 7% of its population, so procuring booster doses might prove ineffective. If countries seek protection from symptomatic reinfections, the vaccination process is going to become trickier and slow as viruses mutate quickly and become more transmissible. Somebody who got two doses of Covishield will not benefit very much from a third dose of Covishield. And that is simply because of the nature of this vaccine. This vaccine is made using a chimpanzee cold virus. That virus is used to make the COVID spike protein. But that virus also has many proteins coming from the chimp virus. So when you've given two doses of that virus as a vaccine, you're not just raising immune response to the spike protein, you're also raising immune responses to all the chimp proteins in that virus. And since they are many more than this one spike protein that you're giving, if you keep on giving that vaccine, you are preferentially boosting responses to the chimp proteins, chimp virus proteins, and not to the spike protein. For countries that are administering booster doses, acquiring the right vaccines will determine how protected their populations are from disease. A booster dose of Sputnik might be ineffective as well, since it also uses the adenovirus like Covishield to protect against SARS-CoV-2. DNA vaccines like Zykov-D can also be given as boosters. But India's capacity to produce Zykov-D is limited at the moment. Investing in protein vaccines might prove to be the best option for countries like India. They can be made in very large amounts and have only one protein the spike protein. So if someone has been administered with Covishield, they will selectively boost the spike response. Since India does not have access to mRNA vaccines, Covavax by Serum Institute and Corbivax by Biological E are two vaccines where the manufacturers can make 1.5 to 2 billion doses annually. After these two vaccines are rolled out, they can also be used as primary doses of vaccination. Because of the huge inequities in vaccination rates around the world, the first priority should be to administer everyone with two doses of vaccines. Moreover, it is important to remember basics and note that wearing a mask in public spaces consistently will protect a person against all variants of the coronavirus.